In this video, I'm going to show you how to work drawer and short rows to achieve this set in sleeve as seen in the Made You Fall designs. I will first go through the formula page and then I will show you how to do it with your knitting. To figure out how many stitches we'll be picking up for our short rows, you will circle your arm circumference so you get your total stitches. Mine is 12 inches, so I have 60 stitches. So total stitches, table four, 60, minus underarm stitches in table two, which is six for my particular size, gives me my total stitches to be picked up, which is 54. This is the total stitches to be picked up between marker one and marker four, as you can see along in the diagram on the left-hand side. So 54 stitches will be picked up and then you will have six stitches picked up for your total underarm, three for each side on either side of the beginning around marker. So total stitches picked up 54 divided by three equals 18. So you will have 18 stitches for each A1, A2, and A3 sections. So A1, 18 stitches. Top shoulder will also have 18 stitches, and this other side is another 18 stitches. So place beginning to round marker in the middle of your underarm stitches in table two. So you will have three stitches on either side, total stitches six. It's crucial you get an even number for A2 section because you will also be splitting this into two. So I have 18 stitches. So divided by two equals nine stitches for either side of the shoulder seam. So before you begin picking up stitches, place your locking stitch markers in the sections above. And as you work picking up your stitches, you'll place the locking stitch markers on the needle as you go. So beginning with your underarm stitches, you will be picking up three you place your first marker one on the needle, continue along picking 18 stitches between marker one and marker two. Once you get to marker two, you place that on the needle. And now you know you need to pick up nine stitches before the shoulder seam. And you will, you can either remove the shoulder seam stitch or place it on the needle, it doesn't really matter picking up another nine stitches before placing marker three onto your needle. Keep working, picking up another 18 stitches until marker four. And once you've reached marker four, you place that locking stitch marker on your needle as well. And then you'll be picking up your last three underarm stitches and placing your beginning around marker. So now you're going to start working your German short rows, working until marker three. You're going to turn this over and work your first German short row stitch, working back to marker two and turning over and working another German short row. And you're just going to repeat this process until you reach marker one and marker four. And then once you've completed your last German short row, you will join in the round and start working your sleeve. So we have our sleeve and we're just gonna lay it as flat as we can with the shoulder seam at the top and your underarm stitches at the bottom. So for your underarm stitches, since I have six, you want to count over one, two, three and you're going to place it right in the middle and this stitch marker is going to end up on your cord but for right now to figure out where we need to put our stitch markers you're just going to attach it to the sleeve itself we will place another stitch marker at the shoulder seam which is an easy one to do and then we're going to place our marker one and marker two, or marker one and marker four, right at the edges of our underarm stitches. And 
And then marker two and marker three, for this particular pattern, you want to make sure that you pick up every stitch between marker two and marker, and then the shul shoulder seam as well as the shoulder seam to marker three. So when I did my math, I had to pick up a total of 18, nine from each side. In the pattern, it says to make sure to pick every stitch, so nine stitches between the two markers. So since we know this in the pattern, we can actually place these markers. So you wanna start from the shoulder seam and you wanna count. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna place my marker on this stitch right here. And then you're gonna to wanna to do the same for the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we place a marker right there. Like I said before, all of these markers are gonna end up being on your actual cord. But now you know, you pick 18 between here. This is gonna create a gathered look to the sleeve. And you wanna pick up your three stitches and then you wanna spread out your 18 stitches between marker one and marker two, and again, marker three to marker four. So when picking up underarm stitches, you wanna make sure that you are picking up in between the V, the knit V right here. Grab your yarn. And you just start picking up by placing your needle in, wrapping around as if to knit. Oops. And pulling that loop in. So now that I have my three stitches, I can actually remove this marker, close it up. And you can change these markers if you want to and just place it on there. So now I know I need to pick up 18 stitches between this marker and this marker. You don't want to do all of your 18 right here. You definitely want to spread it out. So now we know we need to pick up every stitch, so nine stitches between these two markers. And again, nine stitches every row between shoulder seam and marker three. And now 18 stitches spread evenly and try to repeat the process that you did for the other side. Now you're going to pick up your remainder three underarm stitches. And place your beginning around marker. So now that we have all of our stitch markers in place, you're ready to start your German short rows. So you're going to knit past the shoulder seam to marker three.
So now that you've reached a marker three, slip that stitch marker, knit one stitch after the slip stitch marker, and you're going to turn it around, making sure the yarn is in the front. You're going to slip this stitch purlwise. Now you're going to pull really taut and back on this working yarn. And because we're working a purl, we're going to bring it in front. And this creates kind of like a double leg. So it looks like stu two stitches, but it's just your German short row stitch. So now we're going to purl to mark back to marker two. So now that we've worked up to marker two, you're going to slip that, purl another. Now we're going to turn over and work a knit side German short row. So making sure your yarn is in the front again, even though we're doing a knit, it still needs to be in the front. We're going to slip the stitch the same way as purl wise. Now, same thing, you're going to pull up and bring back but since we'll be knitting across the row, you don't need to bring that yarn in the front. You only bring it in the front when you're on a purl side. So you want to pull it nice and tight. And this first stitch, you kind of want to really pull tightly while you're knitting it. That way you're creating that stitch that looks like two stitches. So now I'm going to show you, we're going to work again up to here. I'm going to show you how to knit that German short row and continue on to do another one. So now that I've worked up to that marker two again, I'm going to slip it. And now you can see this German short row looks kind of funky. It looks like two stitches. So to knit it, you're just going to go through both legs, kind of like a knit two together, and knit that, pull nice and tight. And now we're going to work another short, short row, German short row, right after. So you knit one turn over to work a purl German short row, keeping yarn in front, slip, pull tightly in back, bring to the front, and then now you see this German short row is back to being a normal one stitch, you just purl as normal, and you slip your stitch. So now you're back to marker two. We're going to purl that German short row. So like just like before, you pass through both legs, purl it as normal, purl another stitch that you're going to work your German short row, turn over, bring yarn to the front, slip, bring it back, and knit that next stitch nice and tight. So you're gonna continue doing this, working across, always working another short German short row right after your one that you just did for the previous row. So I've gone ahead and done all of my short rows to marker four and marker one. So I have one short row right before this marker and another short row right here. So when you get to this point, you're going to actually start knitting in the round. So you're just going to knit this German short row together like you have. You can now remove this marker, pull that tight. You're going to knit your underarm stitches. 
remove your beginning around marker. I'm actually going to change it to this one, a little smaller. You're going to knit your other side of your underarm stitches. And you're going to remove your marker. And now you're just going to knit this German shirt row, which you normally would have purled it, but because we're joining in the round now, you can just knit this together. And then you just continue knitting around, beginning of the round marker, and that's it. Now you have your perfect cap sleeve. You've joined in the round and you're ready to continue knitting until your desired length.